now in this video we are going to show how we can update record using edges so we need one more button so i copy this paste here and id is before value is update sorry sorry value is update and then we are going to create one function function name is update one okay so copy this delete function paste here we change here update one now we need two value one is old name and one is new name we are going to update name so this is considered as a old name and second text box considered as a new name but no problem we take here new name variable one is old name variable now here first of all we have to change here update and we need to add here one variable this is known as old name and new name is equal to plus new name and plus so we passed here old name and here we have to pass old name new name new name in operation is it update okay now we have to clean this second text box also and change your message record updated successfully and now we have to perform update operation in this page if opr is equal to is equal to update then we declare here two variable string old name new name you can use this variable also but yeah if you use this then you are getting confused so i take new variable old name new name and now here old name new name and here new name old name now we check here it is your old name new name okay everything is okay and now we have to pass here update query update table one we are going to write old value in text box one and new value in text box two set name is equal to new name dot to string where old name is equal to old name dot to string now we are going to refresh here yes we can see here update button now display now uh, we want uh, andipra in place of rajas so rajas is old name so right here new name is andipra so right here and now press this update button oh we are getting error why we have to check we are spelling mistake yes old name so now now we are going to run run again any error so we have to check this first now i am going to run again yes first i display this and we want to write another name in place of this so this will be right here 
and right here update invalid column name old name oh here we have to write column name now you can see here our record is updated so this way we can perform update operation using edgets in asp.net thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please share it thank you so much